the Middle East. You took a track that nobody supported, including General Mattis, including John Bolton. And peace is now breaking out in the Middle East. ISIS has been destroyed. We destroyed ISIS. You, dis you and your generals. And, and when your we military. took over, ISIS was yeah. all over the place. It was all over. That's Biden and, and Obama. They basically left it. Uh, and the inhumanity that was taking place has come to an end. The, 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 the rape and the torture and the brutality, the murder, you would see it on the internet every night. You don't see it anymore. You have Muslim Arab countries making peace with Israel. I was here the other day when that took place. Nobody thought that could happen. So I'm watching NBC and Andrea Mitchell the other day, and three-fourths of her coverage was, well, we don't have a general peace, the Palestinians are left out. Just to you, if the Palestinians want to participate, they're free to participate, sure. are they well, not? Well, they'll come in, 100%. You know, normally you don't like to say things because of, they'll come in. So they took this path, which led to blood all over the sand, Millions of people killed. We spent eight trillion dollars in the Middle East. Okay, eight trillion. They were never going to get anywhere. The Iran deal was a disaster. By the way, with the Iran deal, you could have never done these deals. You could have never done it because of the deal. Gave 150 billion plus 1.8 billion dollars in cash. You know, 1.8 billion. People can't even imagine it. They did such a bad deal. They were so bad. John Kerry was so inept. He is so incompetent. He negotiated a deal. They won every point. He would never get up and leave. Sometimes you have to get up and leave. You would know that better than anybody. Sometimes you'll say, I'm sorry, we can't make a deal. Goodbye. And they'll call you back. Because we have all the cards. We do have all the cards. People just don't know that. This was the stupidest deal. And it made it impossible to do anything. So I terminated that deal. Uh, Iran is a different country. Uh, that's not to say they're not violent and vicious, but they're poor. Their GDP went down 27%, which is a record setter in history. Nobody knows, nobody's ever heard of a 27% drop. That's, and I'm not looking to do that. I'd like them to be strong again, I, but they cannot have a nuclear weapon. They cannot have a nuclear weapon. And it's a, not too much to ask. They cannot have a nuclear weapon. But John Kerry, the deal he made was so incompetent. I terminated it. And after I terminated, good things started to happen. Number one, they didn't have money. So they're not giving money to every terrorist group all over the world, because they don't have it. And the terrorist groups are very angry at them. But they're starting to break up because they don't have any money. Iran was given a massive amounts of money, including the $150 billion that we gave them. Plus, I got Saudi Arabia and others to sort of hold back, because they were also, a lot of, there was a lot of money going to a lot of bad people. We watch it very closely. Those people are breaking up. They, they don't have the same. Now, do they have money to do mischief and really bad mischief? Absolutely, because it doesn't cost very much money. And we're watching. We put out a statement the other day. They talk about assassinating people from the United States. Representative, I said, that's okay. But if you do that, we're going to be hit you with a force 1,000 times bigger than you've ever been hit by before. And it's true.